What's up guys, it's Michael Shallow Reef and coming back at you with another video and today I'm going to teach you how to protect your wall from splashes. Contact paper. The main way I'm going to protect my walls. Now this is pretty cheap. My wife got it at, I believe it was Walmart. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it on the wall and hopefully it'll protect it. Now as you can see I went and prepped the wall by painting it. So that way when I push the tank up against it, it'll have a nice coat of paint. And then, you know, once I get rid of my, uh, my little janky quarantine tank, I'll paint the rest of this wall. So let's get to sticking it to the wall. One of the main things you need to do is make sure that the wall is painted, not freshly painted. You wanna kind of wait a couple days. That way you know for a fact that the paint has soaked up or the wall has soaked up all the paint. My plan is to put the contact paper all across the back and to go around the outlet. And I'm going to kind of layer it from the bottom, working my way up all the way to the top. Now, the main thing I want to do is make sure that the water kind of just slides off of it and onto the ground and not necessarily onto the wall, destroying the wall, because we've all seen pictures of drywall that's been destroyed with years and years of uh, salt water. And this tank over here, with all of its nice plumbing that I just completed, it's gonna be up against the wall for probably eight to 10 years. It's gonna be a long time. So gonna take as much precaution as I can to make sure that this wall is covered. Now I laid out the contact paper and cut it the length of the tank and this is clear contact paper so I'll be able to hopefully not really notice it. My main concern is I want to make sure that all my plumbing, if there's any splashing, that does occur, sorry for kicking the camera out of focus, that it's not going to um, destroy my wall behind it. And I'm gonna probably cut out a little hole around where the outlet is, or maybe do like some flaps or something that way. The water, if it is coming off from the top from the overflow, it'll be deflected around the sides. You know, it's an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So at this point, I'm just gonna go all out because I know this is gonna be here forever and I gotta make it right the first time. So one of the things I learned is you need to do this with two people if you're gonna do like a six foot section like this. This is a lot of uh, fine adjustments in order to get it to not wrinkle here. But then once I put it around the outlet, you can kind of see it started to wrinkle. I'm going to cut, use an X-Acto knife, cut around the outlet and open that up. And then I'm going to go back and put another layer over top of it just to protect it more. Just put the second layer on and it went way better than the first layer because that outlet, um, you can see this is nice and clean. The other one kind of has some crinkles in it, but I'm just gonna live with it. I'm gonna put one more layer on. This is definitely a two person job. I wanna give a shout out to my wife and she's so great to help me do this and deal with all my fish stuff. All right, and the contact paper is completely in place. Now with this, all I did was measure it out, cut it, and have my wife help me put it on the wall. Super easy DIY job, you can do it yourself. It's really cheap, I'll throw the link below. Um, I got it at Walmart for, I don't even know, next to nothing. And yeah, it's just really simple. Not sure you can tell this, which is a good thing, but you can kind of see I raised up, let me put it level with the tank. I have it sticking up about uh, four inches above the water or the overflow. That way, there we go, perfect. You can kind of see it a little bit better now. That way if there's any splashing, it'll be covered up and there'll be no harm done to the wall. Putting contact paper and pond liner like with my tank to make sure I don't have any spills has to be one of the easiest things you can do that costs next to nothing. And it's gonna give you tons of security that you're not gonna destroy the wall and have to do new drywall. Um, what I did was I just overlapped it like an inch down here, same with that one. Went all the way to the floor, cut out a little hole for the um, outlets, and hopefully we won't have any splashing. But guys, that's all I got for you this time. If you wanna, you know, stick around for the build, click some of these links and you'll go to the build for the Innovative Marine 200 gallon. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about this build and this is just one of the pieces that's gonna help it make it be a 10 year build as opposed to like a, you know, two year tank. This will be a 10 year tank for sure and I gotta protect the house for that. So I'll see you guys next time.